Gel manicures are very popular at nail salons all across the country right now. They cost twice as much as regular manicures, and they're supposedly last twice as long. The question is, are they safe? ABC's Elizabeth Leamy is here with the pros and cons, and you have the proof. Yes. Mm. So for those who don't know, and I didn't, mm -hmm. in a gel manicure, you get four coats of a special gel polish. It's different formula from regular nail polish, and between each coat, your nails cure under an ultraviolet light. It's that UV light that has people asking questions. The Jersey-licious girls know how to do nails. Do you have zebra on there? Yeah, I did it myself. I'm ambidextrous. Zebra or French tip, ladies love their manicures. And now gel manicures have kicked it up a notch, shining brighter and lasting longer. They say you can go up to two weeks with no chipping. From pale pinks to shiny reds, women can't seem to get enough of that patent leather gleam that dries almost instantly. That's what hooked Denise McLaughlin. Your nails always look beautiful. So why all the buzz about gel manicures? Well, I'm going to find out by getting gel on one hand, regular polish on the other. Denise got gel manicures for six months, but then she noticed that while her nails looked better, her hands looked worse. Then I noticed that my hands looked like they were getting older looking and these brown spots all over. So she came to see dermatologist Dr. Bruce Katz. You see these little brown spots here and here? This is all from the ultraviolet light in those lamps. As I learned, when you get a gel manicure, you put your hand under the ultraviolet light after each coat. So four different times for a total of about five minutes. These little light boxes actually contain the same ultraviolet light that we see in tanning beds. And we know tanning beds have been associated with melanoma. Many nail industry scientists agree that the type of light is the same, but say the strength of the light is totally different. Well, you simply have to look at them and know that they're obviously not like tanning beds. Uh, when you use these lamps, your fingers don't get tanned. They don't even get burned. However, a study published in the Archives of Dermatology concluded that further investigation was warranted to see if UV nail lamps can cause skin cancer. You don't see brown spots where the sun doesn't shine, even in older women. So it's very likely that these spots and the premature aging of the hands is due to the ultraviolet damage. A nail industry study co-authored by Doug Schoon and conducted by Lighting Science, an independent lab in Arizona, estimated the UV exposure from getting a gel manicure every two weeks is like spending two extra minutes in the sun every day. You're more likely to be exposed to UV driving around town shopping than you are getting a gel manicure every two weeks. Regardless of who's right, dermatologists say there's a simple solution. Wear sunscreen on your hands when you go for a manicure. That's exactly what I did. Ta-da! Can you tell which hand has gel and which has regular polish? Probably not, but manicurists say you will be able to tell after a couple of days. Days in which I drove to work, washed the dishes, worked on the computer, washed some more dishes, all to see which would hold up better, the regular manicure or the gel manicure. And a few days later, here they are, and can you guess which is which? Because I can see up close, I see your right hand, there are more nicks, more chips, mm -hmm. and your left hand looks still like you just walked out of the salon. So there is something to it. This is the regular polish, mm. this is the gel. So what type of, you know, um, sunblock are they talking about putting on? You know, it is specific. These machines emit UVA rays, mm -hmm. so you need a broad spectrum sunscreen that protects against those. And by the way, even for regular manicures, they often have you put your nails sure. under those or your hands under. So it's a good idea before any manicure, put on a little sunscreen. I know, but sometimes salons, they ask you to wash your hands beforehand, so maybe they can just take it right off the nail. Yeah, and you know, another thing they can sometimes do for you is just put a little cloth over your hands if they prefer. Do you really? So. Uh, the red looks sparkling. Oh, well, yes, and I, I wore the red dress to me. <laughs> well, thank you for taking one for the team and doing it. I know, on ABC's Time and Dime, I got a manicure. How great is that? On the old Spencer Report. <laughs> All right. You can go to goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo to find a list of specific sunscreen ingredients that guard against UVA rays, plus learning the warning signs you should look for when you get a jail manicure.